Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm your favorite frugal introvert, Jerry. I get paid monthly, but I cash stuff weekly and I'm learning how to both manage my money and how to make more of it. So what's up y'all, happy Transfer Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video should be a pretty quick cash stuffing because I'm only stuffing $193 in my sinking funds. So without further ado, let's hop into it. I have the money right here, let's go ahead and count it up. 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 7, 9, 81, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 1, 93. All right, so I am gonna move this up here a little bit. So if you guys haven't checked out my struggle stuff in the video um, on Sunday, I will link it in the cards above, but I do suggest that you go back and check that out because that's where I announced my giveaway winner. So if you guys didn't know, I did a secret 2,500 subscriber giveaway and I gave away uh, $25 to three different people. So go ahead and check that out if you um, have it already. All right, so I'm not gonna be stuffing new home and that's because I use all of my savings challenges to stuff new home. But I am gonna be stuffing new whip. And let me check and see what I'm giving that. I'm giving that $62 today. All right, so new whip now has 500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 900, 950, 60, 2, 4, 5. So 965 dollars in new whip. Okay, wait a minute. This is 935. Did I add this up wrong? Or did I count it wrong? 873 plus 62 is 935. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50, 60, two, four, five. I have 965 in here. Okay, something, something ain't clean in the buttermilk because I, I don't know why I have 900 and I don't know why I have an extra $30. Yeah, we're gonna roll with it for now. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll be able to figure it out. Okay, my emergency fund is capped at 11,000. Car maintenance, I'm gonna give that $40 today. And it now has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20, 40, 5, 47, 48. So 948 dollars in new, uh, excuse me, car maintenance. So I might be able to color something in. All right, so my goal actually is, um, I put a thousand here, but I think I'm gonna change it to 1500. So I'm gonna leave the tracker as it is for now, and then I'll get a new tracker and then add an additional $500 in there. So each of my icons is worth $40, and I currently have $948 in here. So 948 divided by 40, that gives me 23, how about 23 and a half? So this is five, 10, 15, 20, one, two, three and a half. So I need to finish coloring this half and then color half of that one. Cool, so we are almost done with this tracker. So it looks like I need, what, $60 more? So household, we're gonna skip that. So the new thing that I'm doing now is that I've added household to, um, I budgeted in $40 a month for household in terms of like adding it to my variable expenses and whatever is left um, from that money, I'm gonna add it to this sinking fund. Medical, I gotta check. Okay, I'm gonna give medical uh, $13. All right, so medical, I think should have 413. One, two, three, four, 10, 12, 13. So 413, I am gonna be using some of this money next week. Well, technically when you see this, I'll have already used some of it yesterday, because today is Friday when I'm recording this, but um, yeah, I have a dermatologist appointment. So this will be getting, uh, not depleted, but I'll be using some of that soon. Subscriptions and car insurance have already been stuffed for the month. Next is my low priority sink of funds binder, and I am going to give my personal envelope $13. So I now have 20, 30, 40, 45, 47, 49, and $50. Next up is debt, which always gets $25 a week. And debt is basically just for a, um, a lump sum payment towards my student loans whenever that pause is over. So debt now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 4,800, 4820, 30, 35, 36, 48, 36. 
Yep, $4,836. Nice. I really want to get the 5,000 in here before it's time to pay those loans back. So I've told you guys before that I'm pretty much just kind of waiting on doing a debt confession because I don't quite know exactly what my minimum monthly payment is going to be once the repayment pause is over. So I'm just still waiting on that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing the debt avalanche rather than the snowball because I do have multiple student loans. They're all through the same lender, but it's multiple student loans and, um, they each have a different interest rate. And so uh, basically if you're unaware of what the debt avalanche is, it's it's like the kind of like the opposite of the debt snowball method. So debt snowball, you attack it from smallest to largest. I'm not necessarily doing largest to smallest. I'm doing largest interest rate to smallest interest rate. That way I'm saving more money because I'm not paying as much, much interest on my loans. So, um, one of my largest loans in terms of the amount actually has one of the highest interest rates. So I'm going to apply this towards that highest interest rate loan, which is also the largest loan, and then work my way down to the smallest interest rate. All right, so my business envelope, I am gonna give that $8 today. Okay, and that has 150, 55, 57, 59, 61, 162. Next up is Uncle Sam for taxes. That's gonna actually be getting skipped. Fun, I'm gonna give that $10 today. So I now have 20, 30, 40, 45, 47, 48 dollars in fun. And can I color something? I can. I can color in four and a half of these. Hey, so that's awesome. So this little brunch or mimosa savings tracker is available in my Etsy shop. So each of my icons is actually worth $10. So since I have $48, I'm gonna color in four and a half. I think that might be the wrong shade. Yeah, it looks off, but it's fine. I still like it. All right, so the last envelope in here is actually gonna be giving, and I am gonna give that $5. So this is you guys' envelope. So this is basically like my YouTube envelope. So I now have one, 150, 155, 160, 162 in here, but the next time you see this, um, I won't have 162 in here, because like I said, today is Friday when I'm recording this, and I'm gonna have to take the money out of here for the giveaway prize. So I'm gonna be taking $75 out of here. Okay, so my last binder is for occasions and I got this from Dawn over at Fun and Megita Jones. And I am going to give $6 to birthdays. I'm gonna to have to take some money out of here too because my best friend's birthday is upcoming. So I've got 50, 70, 80, $1. I'm gonna give $3 to Christmas today. So I now have $213 in Christmas. Don't know if I can color anything, but let's see. So 213 divided by 15, I need to have 14 of these colored in. So I think I already do one, two, three, four, five, 10, 14. Yes, I can't color in anything. Not today at least, but it's fine. Next up is Deuce's birthday. Deuce is my partner and I am gonna give him $6. So he now has 110, 15, 17, 18, 19. So $119 in here. I don't quite know when I'm gonna cap this. Maybe at about 150. And lastly is Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving will be here before we know it. And I'm gonna give that the last $2. So it now has 10, 12, 14, $16. And I think I actually might be able to, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So I need to color in two more of these. Wait, really? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, so two more of these. Okay, so this is also available in my shop as well, but you get a um, pack of three. It's 26, 52, and 130, and you get all these for $1.50. 
Okay, so that, my friends, is a wrap. So I appreciate you being here, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe, be blessed, and until next time, peace.